Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. On this video, we will see how can we set up the Spring Boot and Angular project. And we will also write a MySQL configuration to connect Spring Boot application with MySQL database. So let's get started. So first of all, let's create an enterprise level Spring Boot application from Spring Initializer. You can see here the official website of Spring Initializer that is spring start.spring.io. So let me select here the project as the Maven and the language Java. And the version I'm selecting here, 3.1.4. And here I'm putting um, dot code with projects. And the artifact ID is third underscore spring. And for the packaging, I'm selecting here jar and Java is 70. Okay. Let's add the few dependencies. So first of all, let me search here spring web that is used to build restful apis we need to add here lombok that you use to reduce the boilerplate code let's search here gp that you use to perform the operations with the database like retrieve post delete data from the database and the last we need to add mysql driver that is used to link spring spring boot application with mysql so let's generate the project now you can see so let me unzip this let me cut and add into our folder. So let's open in our Intel IJ ID. You can see here our Spring Boot project is opened in the Intel IJ ID. So here's the main package of our app Spring Boot application. And here's the main package. And here's the main file of the our Spring Boot application. And here's the resources package. And in this application of properties, we will write a configuration to connect the my Spring Boot application with MySQL database. And here you can see the pom.xml file. So this file includes uh, versions of the Spring Boot application and the dependencies that I have added from Spring Initializer. You can see here is a Spring Boot version that I have added 3.1.4. And here's the details of the, our Spring Boot application like group ID, artifact ID, version name, description. And in the property section, you can see here the Java version that is 17. Okay. And here's the dependencies section where all the dependencies have added like JPA, web, MySQL connector J, Lombok, and here's the start depend starter test dependencies that is include with Spring Web. And here you can see the build section where two plugins, first one is a Maven and the second one is a Lombok. So let me open this application properties and let's write here the database configuration so you can see here spring data source.url i have added here the url of our spring and mysql database so it is a jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost because our database is running locally in our machine so i have added here localhost and port that is 3306 you can see here localhost colon 3306 okay is the name of our database so let me create here the database let's click here create a new schema in the connected server so let's click on this and paste here the name that is create current underscore db and click on apply and then apply finish okay now you can see database is created so let's write another configuration like the username and the password of the database because we need to add the credentials of our database to allow the spring application to login in the MySQL. So spring dot username that is a root. This is a username of our database. Spring dot password that is also a root. Okay. So this is the credential of our MySQL database. You can use your credentials of the MySQL.
So you can see spring dot data source dot driver Python class Python name that is com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc dot driver. So it's a driver class name. So here are the two properties of our JPA that is string dot jp dot hibernate dot ddl iphone auto that is update and here the last property we need to add screen dot jp dot show iphone sql is equals to true okay so let's run the application you can see here the application started in a port 8080 that is the by default port from the spring boot so you can change the port by using this statement that is server dot port is equals to 9000 let me stop the application and run again and here you can see the port is changed successfully that is 9000 i will use a by default port that is 8080 so let's stop the application okay so in this package i'm going to create a few sub packages so the first one is controller second one is entity third one is service and the last one is repository so the creation of our Spring Boot application is completed. So let's go to our local directory and let me open here the CMD to create a new Angular application. So let me open here CMD. And here we need to write an Angular application command that is ng new rut underscore angular. Okay. Let's click on enter. And here the question that is, would you like to add Angular routing? So I need, so I'm clicking here, Y button to say yes and hit enter. And here, which style sheet format would you like to use? I'm setting here CSS, okay? So let's click on enter. And you can see it will take a couple of minutes to create a new Angular application. So let's wait for this. Let's open the Angular project in VS code. Let me open here the terminal to run the Spring Boot application. Let me open here the terminal to run the Spring Boot application. And here we need to write a command that is ng space server to run the Angular application. Then it will start building the project and you can see it started on port 4200 and it, it is also running on a locally on machine so let me copy this link and open into our browser and here you can see the results from the angular application so this is the code written in into our app.html you can see here the file the code is already written in angular application so the ui of this code is this one okay so let me create here a few components that i will use in the upcoming videos so let me open in the terminal again and here we need to write a command that is ng g for generate c for component and here i'm going to write a sub package name that is components slash post hyphen customer the first, the first one component is post customer let's click on enter and it will take a couple of seconds to create a new component and you can see the component is created successfully with the post customer so let's create another component that is get all customers and the last component we need to create is update customer create hyphen customer and you can see the three components are created successfully so let's create here the service that is customer service so the command is and the g for generate as for service and here we need to write the package name service slash name of the service is customer and here you can see the service package with the two classes 
customer service dot ts and customer service dot spec dot ts spec dot ts is mostly used to write the tests of the code so we we mostly use customer service dot ts class to write the code okay so let me close this and uh, refresh the link and you can see okay so that's all for now from my side in the next video we will start write code so thanks for watching if you have any questions you can do comment and uh, also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thank you take care bye